Okay, in this video today, I'll show you how to repair uh, medical gas outlets. Uh, there are many brands out there, but for today, we'll just uh, cover the ones made by Dragger. So, the problems that you may face are leaking. So, when no connection is made, you may hear some uh, air leaking or something like that. Or, after the connection is made, but the flow has not been started, like you put in a flow meter and you hear some hissing sound. So some people will tell you to change the whole coupler like this, but there's a better and cheaper way to do it. So I'll get to that in a while. So this is how the dragger outlets looks like. To get started, you remove this face plate. It can be round or in this shape. So just do it like this. Just pulls out easily. And from there, you remove the bushing. From here, you will see that there are three special screws slotted, so don't touch these. To repair the outlet, if it is leaking, just go for this three hex key. Okay, so you just open, open it. When you open, gas will start coming out, not to be afraid, like this. So that is why I always advise to use a drill. So from here. Keep your thumb on the center. Take out the so once it is all loosened, the leaking will stop. So this will be the part that you have removed. Now what you need to do is to take out this packing ring. So change this packing ring. And inside here, remove this copper. And inside the copper, there is an O-ring. So replace the packing ring and this O-ring. The O-ring, if you are using different standards, maybe is in blue in color or whatever, you can get the parts, the correct parts, and then just replace this too. It will solve your leaking issue. Okay, now to fix it back after you have replaced the O-rings. So what I do is that I usually take a hex key or a test pen. So put it through and hold the valve in the back in place. From there, just slide it in. There's a catch and a spring. So you have to be careful about that. Goes in this way. Now for putting back, I don't re uh, recommend for you to use the drill because the it's made of plastic and there's a chance of cross thread or you might over tighten. So just use your hand tools will do. And for putting back, you don't have to worry about the gas escaping as much. So this is still pressurized. There's nothing to it. I did not make any bypass. So you can see that when I'm putting back, there isn't much of a leakage going on. So just tighten it evenly. Just a little bit, you can hear a click, the valve has sit in place. Now, see it's, everything is okay now. Just put back the face pieces and you'll be done. Now something to take note before you take out is that the coupling has actually different grooves. This is for oxygen, you will see that the two grooves are facing the top here and now if i take out the one for the air you can see that it is actually sitting at the side so before you remove have a look remember where these grooves are so that you can fix it back properly and uh, the catches will be correct